Vertical transmission of HIV occurs when a woman becomes infected before or during pregnancy, and then the virus is transmitted to her baby. Without medical intervention, there is roughly a one in three chance that the baby will become infected during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Vertical transmission is more commonly called mother-to-child transmission, but that name unfairly blames the mother. In reality, she is just the latest link in a long chain of HIV transmission. Each year, 430,000 children are infected through vertical transmission globally. The good news. Vertical transmission can be prevented with the right combination of drugs and correct information about infant feeding. In wealthy countries, it has been reduced to between 1 and 2 percent. The bad news. In poor countries, many women and their newborns are only prescribed one of the necessary drugs and aren't given correct infant feeding information. This drug is called nevirapine, and mothers and babies are each given just a single dose, which prevents about 47% of all infections. The bad news gets worse. When assaulted by only a single dose of nevirapine, HIV can mutate to resist the drug's effects. That mutated virus can then multiply in the mother or baby, creating a new strain of HIV that is resistant to nevirapine. Nevirapine isn't only used to prevent vertical transmission. It's also one of the three drugs that make up the triple combination therapy most often used to treat HIV disease in developing countries. So HIV-positive women or babies who take single-dose nevirapine and develop a resistant strain of HIV may not respond to triple combination therapy later on when they need it to treat their HIV disease. The bad news gets even worse. Women who are given single-dose nevirapine are rarely informed of the possibility that they may develop a resistant strain of HIV. These women are told only of the benefits and not of the health risks, and therefore their consent to take nevirapine is not informed consent. The Solution Women everywhere with HIV should be given triple combination therapy during pregnancy and childbirth. If they continue on triple combination therapy, they can also breastfeed exclusively for six months with very little risk of transmitting the virus. There's no mystery. We could eliminate vertical transmission with a simple decision. Give women with HIV in poor countries the same drugs and information that is available in rich countries.